Hey what's up guys my name is Charlie today we're going to be reacting to some more nostalgia critic and it's going to be Conan the Destroyer Oh boy this is going to be interesting I wonder what the nostalgia critic has to say about this one Um this Conan the Destroyer wasn't as good as the first one Conan um uh, the Barbarian that one was much more superior uh than Conan the Destroyer of course Conan the Destroyer was a, like a watered down version it was like uh, a cry kid 2 it continued the legacy but it it was just eh, you know it was all right an adaption go for it why not just make a another buck so to speak i never really uh minded conan the destroyer i thought it was a good adaption why not i mean it was cheesy it was uh, it was really cheesy, actually, from what I remember. Um, but it was okay. Um, it wasn't the end of the world for me because I never took Conan the Destroyer or Conan the Barbarian really serious. I never took it like, oh, it's an Oscar-winning performance. You know, I, all I saw it was like a cheap sort of budget. Um, well, it wasn't really cheap budget. But um, I always consider it like um, sort of a low-end movie, but a classic sort of uh, boot starter, uh, kicker career for Arnold. So, uh, yeah, um, I wonder what the Nostalgia Critic has to say about this one. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, continue with the video, shall we? Let's go. <laughs> From the heart of oh, the God. Who you such classes Are you going to do Frank this Sonia again? And Dr. Doolittle <laughs> comes his most epic of unimpressively bland masterpieces. Mm. Conan the Destroyer. <laughs> yeah, this one isn't as good, it but it's still respectable. Balls. Let's watch it. Between the years when the ocean... Yeah. <laughs> so we start off with Conan as he's apparently replaced Subatai. I remember that woman. Who was that? that? I think we made the merchant angry. She, had a, she was oh, a woman with that prince hat. They got me because Rob Schneider was off making worse movies. <laughs> But they're suddenly surrounded by a ton of soldiers who attack him with nuts and sticks. <laughs> I, I don't think it's gonna work, guys. <laughs> Please get Look all that blood. We'll be totally your awesome. <laughs> do you know who I am? Queen Taramis. What do you want? I need your help. That's why I <laughs> That's sent it. my men to attack it. you. I'm just yep. saying hello. I'm just trying to kill you. Look at the shrine. Show me the desire in your deepest heart. <laughs> California. <laughs> oh, come on. Malaria. Malaria? Her name was Malaria all this time? Actually, it's Valeria. And if Conan goes with the queen, she can help bring her back to life. So, of course, he agrees. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, look, uh, he even comes across another camel, like in the first oh, film. Jesus. I'm sorry about what happened the last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How come I get the feeling that the name of the next film is going to be Conan, the camel puncher? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will drink to daddy. Sing Arnold of Use Animals. God. What the, the God of nonchalantness. All right, there's a lot of story they get out here, so listen closely. It is written in the scrolls of Skellis that a woman child born with a certain mark. I wonder how much it costs turn. to make this set. It Look how lovely it is. It's all marble. I wonder how much that would have cost to produce. There is a key she must find. A key only it she cost can like $50,000 at the time. But then again, back then it was 1980, so money was unlock? different to inflation. A horn. Only she can procure it. So you want me to fulfill the unknown hmm. destiny of a scroll I never read by going to a Do you think they shined his muscles? A you think a, a, a team just shined Arnold's muscles? <laughs> Look how shiny they are. So they they must have rubbed baby oil all over, over him or something. The guard, some specific orders. What I do need you for is to see that this dear child is returned safely to the palace. Both the treasure and her virginity intact. I can definitely protect one of those. <laughs> she must be a virgin when she's returned to me, so she can be properly sacrificed. Yes, make sure absolutely nothing happens to her so I can kill her. <laughs> Speaking of which, how come gods always want virgins? Wouldn't yeah, I've be never understood that. Purity, I guess. Of the human body. It's pleasurably logical. 
But I digress. They set out on their quest and go through sacrificing several the virgins in the horror answer. movies. <laughs> on their way, they come across Mako from the last movie and Mayday! Hey, I didn't know she was in this movie. Purity and, ass. Shit like that. and ironically, the situation suggests she's in view to a kill. Save her! <laughs> Thieves should be hanged. <laughs> So, how come she has a horse tail on her ass? Is that just the style then? Yeah! Look at that, Abu. It's not every day you see a horse with two rear ends. <laughs> so, Mandy wants to join them for saving her life. The captain tries to shoo her away, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Why do you have like the Ace Ventura fight I scene? Swear that if Conan will let me ride with him, but the midget comes out of the I bag. <laughs> we shall see. So she joins the team as they for ride some to reason. the castle they were looking for. And throws a spear um, into his leg. Water is not usually the most stable spot to build a castle. Yeah, I mean, ice is. Who builds their castle in the middle of a swamp? <laughs> well, the king said it was duck to build a castle in a swamp, but I built it all the same, just to show them. They sank into the swamp. We then cut to the <laughs> wizard who owns the castle. Oh, what It never gets on, does it? Hey, it's <laughs> the Burger King's mutilated brother. <laughs> Daniel. They both could so they decide alone. to rest for the night while the evil wizard transforms himself into a hideous beast. Not oh, really a terrible beast. It was it like a pterodactyl, so to speak. <laughs> so he captures Jenna and holds her in a room made out of tin foil. The others tin break into the foil. castle and try to get her back. My God, that's probably what it was made out of tin foil. Diamond. Oh God, I remember this scene. Yeah, Jesus, this scene was totally awesome. This would remind me of the Resident Evil Four. Uh, Golly, you're the most Resident Evil Four. I've ever met. How long did it take you those to little all this? enemies with the red hoods, <laughs> Sarah Monk or whatever you call them. So the Sarah the wizard means. tries to attack Conan as his friends watch helplessly. Hmm. But Conan discovers he has to destroy the mirrors in order to destroy the wizard. Which is a little strange. Yeah. I mean, if you're the wizard, why would you want your weakness surrounding the room? Yeah. Like Superman decorating his fortress of solitude <laughs> with kryptonite curtains. Well, um, you never know. The people I might have not been intelligent. <laughs> Taking that sword through his <laughs> chest pretty well, isn't he? I mean, I would scream or something, but <laughs> he keeps all his pain inside, and I respect that. Yeah, said it whatever. Crashed through I the door the whole time. Stabbed is quite painful. Before? Were they just looking for the doorbell to be polite? <laughs> so as the journey continues, we find that the niece has quite the attraction to Conan, and she tries to see if she can get some dating tips from Mayday here, because she really looks like a person who's into girly talk. I didn't know women could be warriors. Who said I was a woman? Oh, my <laughs> Come on. How do you attract a man? I spear him, gut him, then wear him. What Damn. I mean? <laughs> Suppose you set your heart on the critic's really getting into take this him. role, is he? And take him. He's getting into like it. that? I often use my club to bash him on the head and drag him to my cave by his hair. Oh, yesterday, girl. oh Jesus Christ. But Jenna <laughs> finds she needs someone more sophisticated to talk about sex with. Mm. In order for, for a man to really know a woman, and and for her to know him, they have to, uh, to join. Join? He has to take his, his, uh, uh, and grab her by the, uh, there you are. Join. I mean, how do you think flowers grow? <laughs> well, a little sexual insight wow. this guy has is just mind-blowing, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Hell, I'd love to see this guy in some sort of sex talk <laughs> Thank God I didn't learn from yeah, him as a kid. Uh, mm. I find I have trouble getting an erection around nighttime. Uh, what would you suggest for that? <laughs> no, I mean, mm. you know, with the, the, the things and the guys over here, women's over here, and the... And, and the joining, and... Uh, it does actually and does the, a pretty good voice. Yeah, you know, oh. You know, he actually does a pretty flowers. damn good voice in the Star Trek critic. <laughs> so they find Castle Number Two That's and the treasure the Queen was talking about. But they're greeted by some unpleasant company on their way out. Mm -hmm. We are the keepers of the horn. 
Then you know what will happen if the horn is placed back in the forehead of Dagoth. The god will live again. No one is able to control him. Enough talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they fight their way through and hide behind some sort of magic door. The pubic beard here, it turns out, is all pubic beard. As he uses his powers to open the door. Yeah, man. So wait a minute, did his magic just make a dinging sound? Oh man, he must have been the laughing stock at Hogwarts, don't you think? My magic produces lightning! My magic produces fire! My magic goes... I, I, I mean, it's... <laughs> That's pretty Luckily, cool, I guess. Luckily, uses his own magic Ding to annoying. show the wizard the most frightening image he can conjure up. <laughs> See, it reminds me of, like, the monkey scene, the movie. So the captain gives our heroes the 44 levels of the monkey or something like that. Where are the others? 42. Don't worry, go. Oh, okay. Thank God I'm an idiot. Monkey King or so something like that. It was some sort of kung fu movie. Can't remember. Today is your birthday. All of Shadazar is celebrating. Drink. To death. I mean killing you. I mean <laughs> life. I mean killing you. But the fearsome five break that queen the reminds me from like Willow. Um, from that movie Willow was pretty cool. So what's my birthday gift? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a pony? <laughs> Is it a dagger and a pony? <laughs> Is it you stabbing me in the throat <laughs> so you can resurrect a god in order to control him and hopefully rule the world? And a pony! And it only takes oh, one virgin girl, girl. Oh, yeah. I mean... I guess we have been standing here the whole time. Price is cheap. I because I thought there was an easily breakable piece of glass in front of us. See, you that's the only thing that can hold us back. I think 10,000 would do it. So because she's not sacrificed, the statue is instead transformed into... <laughs> okay. I think James Earl Jones' snake yeah. scene just got out silly. <laughs> Yeah, this scene creeped me out as a kid. It was like a rhino. It was shit out by swamp thing. Or something like swamp from the lagoon or something like that. Boy, I feel a little weird saying this, but Conan is literally fighting a one-eyed, one-horned giant purple people. And you know what? It sure looks strange to me. Yeah, this scene was pretty scary as a kid, I remember it was... Oh, it wasn't scary scary, but it was like creepy for me. I was like, wow. Remind me of the, like, the evil dead. <laughs> Zula. What is Just go with it, Jesus. I see no reason why a woman wouldn't do as well as a man. You shall be called Punky Brewster, the brave. <laughs> Will the world's greatest wizard come forward, please? Not you. I said the world's greatest wizard. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, God, Jesus. One cannot rule without wisdom. Rule Shadizar with me. Mm. I need a royal <laughs> cherry popper. Anyone oh, qualified? Jesus. I will have my own kingdom. My own queen. Damn. I will own the beautiful land of California. California. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be California. California. Oh God, Jesus! So Conan rides off to find his own kingdom, and thus we get an ending pretty much identical to the first one. Mm. Till at last, he found his own kingdom and wore his crown upon a troubled. I never s understood this. He should have. He should have gone with a. Done with a story that with I will not tell because. I Schwarzenegger's <laughs> in California, and this franchise is non-existent. Yeah. So those are the Conan movies. How do they measure up? Well, the second one is just crap. Yeah. Once in a while, there's something It's okay to binge part, watch, so to speak. The first one, however, I gotta admit, it's sort of a guilty pleasure for me. Ah, yes, I mean, again, there we go. He's stupid, enjoying it. It's so Cheesy, guilty stupid. pleasure. The characters yep. are memorable, the cinematography is yeah. great, and the music <laughs> is some of the best I've ever heard of. Mm. It's kind of hard not to enjoy it. Yeah. Now, granted, I've never read the original stories. Nor have I. I've only watched the movies. Justice, I think I've played I the game Conan, though. For its corniness, for its grand scale, and for its over-the-top execution. 
Is it bad? Sure. But it's a very enjoyable It's a good man. bad. And if you're an Arnold fan, you'll definitely check it out. Yeah. But how will Conan match up against the armies of darkness, Satan himself in the end <laughs> of days? That is another story. End of days. Oh boy, it was yeah, that was that. That was a that was a good Arnold movie. I enjoyed that actually really well. <laughs> okay, well that's the uh, end of the video. Um, I gotta say, Conan the Destroyer was a respectable attempt to continue the sort of uh, legacy of the first movie. I mean, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't great, it wasn't uh, Oscar-winning performance, but um. You know, you can't expect much from these uh, Conan the Destroyer, Conan and the Barbarian movies. You know, you can't come in watching them and expecting Oscar performances. You know, these are cheesy, um, bad, cheesy, good sort of movies. Something you sit down, crack out some popcorn, some nachos, have a beer and have a good laugh. Uh, sitting down to your best friends on the couch watching this movie. You know, just uh, chilling out and saying, oh god, look at Arnold back in the day. You know, look at him now in 2019. Um, but yeah, these are the sort of movies you would chill out and just um, take it easy. Uh, that's the sort of movies uh, what you would expect uh, from Conan the Destroyer and uh, Conan the Barbarian. But Conan the Barbarian was much more superior. Um, it was totally awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, also Conan the Destroyer, it was bad, but it was a respectable bad. It was a good attempt. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that was uh, pretty decent. I actually... Uh, pretty enjoyed that very much. I'm glad that he's uh, finally um, not saying, oh, it's the worst movie in the world. It deserves every Razzie Award ever developed. And, you know, just over dramatizing everything and saying it's the worst. It, you know, it belongs in the Forges of Hell. At least he appreciates uh, the bad um, cheesiness of it. So I'm glad he did that. I'm glad he pointed it out saying, oh, it was, it was a bad movie. But it was a respectable bad movie, um, you know. But uh, yeah, I believe this was like um, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer was like the sort of movies that really boosted up Arnold's career. I'm not quite sure if that's true or not. But that's what I've heard. Um, it could be wrong information, but these were the two movies that really uh, boosted his career. And uh, after these two movies, a lot of uh, Hollywood people uh, wanted him in other movies as well because... Um, yeah, that's how Hollywood works. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give a like, comment down below, make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>